from California has come in, so I'll recognize him for five minutes. Thank you very much, Madam Chairwoman, and thank you for giving us, the legislative body, an opportunity to shed some light uh, in full view of the American people in the world uh, on how to get down to the bottom of uh, what's been going on with the um, I personally consider it an atrocity that any country would wholesale um, take action, intended action of separating babies, children from their parents. Um, I, I haven't heard of anybody in the psychological field that has said anything other than that is probably the worst thing that a person, that a society or any individual can do to a young brain is to give them that experience of that trauma. I have not heard any of them say anything other than that trauma lasts a lifetime. Not only does it have a mental effect on that human being for a lifetime, it actually translates into negative physical effects as well. So that having been said, it's alarming to me that um, earlier, I think it was you, Commander White, uh, was quoted as making a statement along the lines that uh, perhaps you're not even going to be able to reunite all of the children uh, in custody today with their appropriate parents. Um, uh, my point on that is if, in fact, that's what you were willing to admit, I thank you for that admission because until that moment, we were given stories from the administration and from various departments that everything's going to be okay at the end of the day. It's not that bad. Um, all the children are going to be just fine. And uh, nothing could be further from the truth. No offense. Once a child has been traumatized like that, it's never going to be just fine after that fact. Um, I just want to remind us that, that the ability of not being able to return every single child to their rightful families eventually and for us to, to do anything less than everything that we can do to make that right with that child and their family, um, we, anything less than that would be like we're treating them like sweaters left behind in a lost and found. And these are human beings. They might not be American human beings but they're human beings. Um, with that, I'd, I'd like to ask um, some questions. Um, Commander White, uh, um, with the reports of children crying themselves to sleep at the ORR facilities, did HHS provide any advice or training to CBP on how to minimize trauma to uh, for these separated family members, particularly the children? So uh, that's something we'd have to get back to on. I do not know if there was an interagency discussion. Um, HHS is a big agency. I did not myself provide any technical assistance to an interagency, but that is a question we would need to get back to you on. Okay, if you can provide that to the committee, that would be um, very important for us to know the answer. And, and again, um, Commander White, I, I'm, I'm not here to, to beat you up. I, I'm actually here to compliment you because everything that I've heard about your comments have been pretty darn forthright and, and just, just straightforward um, with, with trying to paint a truthful picture about what happened and what's been going on. Um, I apologize, I'm, I'm having a hard time even in asking some of these questions because it, it is just so startling that in the greatest country in the world, we actually participated in this in separating thousands upon thousands of children. Um, but at what point in time uh, was your department made aware that there was going to be an increase, a drastic increase in influx of children that would have to end up in your custody? Uh, I am not aware of any HHS. I have no personal knowledge of any HHS person uh, being advised of ZTP, Zero Tolerance Policy, prior to its public announcement. Because my time is short, thank you. Um, did you personally inquire or did, or did you discuss with any of your colleagues at your level above or below that if they were inquiring 
to ask if anybody else has heard or, or at least because maybe they, they were inquiring, but they weren't getting any answers. What, because I, because I, in many interagency uh, meetings, I was, it was clear to me that there were, uh, that the possibility existed that separation was going to happen. Indeed, that preparation for that policy possibility was underway. Uh, as I've testified previously, I did elevate those concerns to my own immediate leadership. But as far as you know, no, no direct answers were given based on the question I just asked earlier. I'm, again, to my knowledge, no one in HHS knew that zero tolerance policy. I have never heard an HHS person say to me, yes, I knew that zero tolerance policy was going to happen. Thank you for your frankness, uh, Commander White. Thank you, Madam Chair. Chair Nabrick.